And a few years ago, I was speaking to James a little while ago, and he said, you turned around and said, you know, there should be a building here, the art of living. And today, it's become a reality. Congratulations, it's a beautiful building. And I believe you kind of predicted that it was going to be a historic building. So this must be a very nice feeling. Uh, yeah, you know, and then they fix the building very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's my habit, it has become my habit these days to uh, do impossible possible. <laughs> What's thought to be impossible. You know, recently we had this program in India where 2,750 classical singers on one stage uh, sang for two hours. It was a magnificent event. We call this Antarnaad. Everyone, practically everyone said it is impossible because uh, without practice, just one day of practice, 2,750 people sitting and singing uh, the two classical music, Indian classical music. Uh, but it did have, it was a mesmerizing program. I think this is what we need to do, spend our time in bringing people together, and more cultural and social activism and a sense of uh, caring for the planet. And which is something that you do do through your organization and of course Vice President Joe Biden is a huge follower of yours and endorses your thing and you go around um, through the organization a peace movement. So what's next for you? You know I'm uh, focusing on the inner city uh, kids here where uh, there are there's a large number of school drop-offs in this area and children are so stressed and uh, there is such an aggression and violence. So my dream for America is to see US as a crime-free, a violence-free, stress-free society. We have everything here. It's just the violence and stress which uh, dampens all that spirit that US is. So we need, to, if we can make uh, US uh, violence-free, stress-free society and so that everybody could walk onto any neighborhood without having to be concerned about their safety or security. That would be a golden period for us. Yeah, and you know, India is so fortunate. We have a wonderfully spiritually inclined individuals in different schools of thought. I'm curious to know, like Baba Ramdev, what do you think about his teachings? No, well, Swami Ramdevji has done an excellent work. He has uh, reached yoga to many corners of the society and uh, many people like him and uh, who are working in India. You know, Gayatri Parivar is doing great service. Um, Chinmaya Mission, they are doing in their own way. Swami Chidanandji is doing that. So many people are working for upliftment of society. And even here, uh, we have many scientists and many authors here uh, who are uplifting the human spirit in America as well. <laughs> so what is your reaction when unfortunately someone like uh, Swami Nityananda comes out and of course the sex scandal with him? I don't know. No? We'd love to hear your reaction on that. Okay, it's okay to repeat the question. No, I just want to know your reaction on something okay. like, you know, when you're doing such great work and something like Swami Nathananda comes out, what is your reaction to that? You know, the, there are some people in every field who bring disgrace to the field. That is unfortunate. And, and people do mistakes and they have admit, when they admit their mistake, they should not be condemned, rather it, they should be looked at with compassion. I usually say, you know, when a mud pot, you want to store water in a mud pot, you should see the pot is first baked. <laughs> if an unbaked pot, you put it in the water, neither the pot stays nor the water stays. I think that's what has happened. A young person who has not had enough guidance, uh, in a cuter age, mm. could be misled. What would you say to our home audience out there? Uh, something simple, a piece of advice that you would like to share with them for them to enhance their life? You know, when you drive on the street, sometimes accidents happen. Uh, 
because of the accident you don't stop driving or you don't stop taking a car or a train or a plane so similarly though you find some here and there some people in the name of spirituality has got a bad name to the uh, to the area don't be paranoid about it walk on spiritual path you know digest the knowledge and uh, apply it in your life and be happy mm -hmm. i'm with you guruji you have a profound presence and i appreciate it and thank you so much and i look forward to hopefully meeting you again so wonderful thank you the art of living foundation is the world's largest volunteer based non governmental organization with presence in over 145 countries This great building, this 100-year-old building is marvelous. It's marvelous architecturally, it's marvelous as a result of its history, but it's marvelous because Shri Shri spirit resonates through every corner of this building. And the spiritual center is where you come and your spirit gets uplifted, your body becomes stronger, free from disease. mind is more focused energized intellect free from prejudice where you embrace people from all communities west adams heritage association is so pleased to welcome the art of living foundation to our community 